let's talk about setting up billing rates using a flat base rate or creating exceptions within a project. From our dashboard screen, we'll select the My Company module and select Project List from our dropdown. We can go ahead and jump into any one of our projects. Today we'll use Central Perk and we'll click on the Bill Rates tab. Now, as you can see, we actually have some custom rates already built into this project and we are already told big time that we're going to use the staff 2017 base rate as our primary multiplier for this project. Now let's go ahead and say that our customer was able to negotiate a rate where they were going to have a flat rate of 125 for this project per hour regardless of who's working on it or what they're completing. All I would need to do under the base rate type would be to click on the drop down menu and select project flat rate. Within the base rate field, we're going to go ahead and type in our 125 an hour. And now what we're telling Big Time is, hey Big Time, whenever somebody puts time against Central Park Coffee Consulting, they're going to use the base rate multiplier of $125 an hour, regardless of which staff member it is or which activity they're performing. We'll go ahead and save our changes. And that would be our base rate type. Now, creating exceptions is just as easy within the system. Uh, you can see that we just have the option to add a custom rate. Now, you can use any combination of the first three columns to be able to create exceptions to the rule. Now, the exception that I currently have set up is that, hey, big time, whenever anybody logs time to Central Perk Coffee Consulting, they're going to bill out at the project flat rate of 125 with the exception of Brea. When Brea adds time, regardless of what activity she's working on or which task, she will bill out at a flat rate of $75 an hour. Now, we can also go ahead and create exceptions based off of categories alone. So we can say that when we're working on bookkeeping, we're gonna charge $50 an hour. Again, remember that this category is driven off of your timesheet and we'll need to have labor codes or categories present in order to be able to use this calculation. Now, we can also go ahead and add a custom rate and say when we're working on consulting, we're gonna charge 150 an hour. So what happens is that when we leave one of these columns blank, that means it applies to everything or everyone on the dropdown. So we've gone ahead and created some custom rates within our Central Perk coffee consulting job. We're saying that on a normal day that everyone will have the project flat rate of $125 an hour. With the exception of Brea, she'll bill out at $75 an hour. Or when we're using the bookkeeping category, regardless of which staff member it is and which task they're using, it will be $50 an hour. And the third option will show at a task level saying that regardless of which staff member or which category we're selecting, if we choose the task consulting on our timesheet, we will bill out at $150 an hour. Now remember, you can definitely create more drill down custom rates by selecting specific staff members and tasks. And you can say that Frank is going to charge out at $200 an hour if he chooses the consulting task instead of just leaving it for every staff member. So we do hope that you enjoyed today's video and have a wonderful day.